Hi guys, my name is Anastasia and today I'll be reviewing my Schecter C8 Multi-Scale Silver Mountain. This is one incredible guitar. One, because of the beautiful finish and two, because it has a multi-scale fretboard which I'll talk about in more detail later on. And three, because it's a Schecter. This guitar has five specific things I look for in all my guitars. One, 24 frets. Two, a belly cut. If I'm going to be playing this guitar for hours, it needs to be comfortable to hold. 3. The neck has to feel just right. I can manage this neck even though it's an 8 string. 4. I also need to have easy access to the higher fret, which this neck joint allows. And 5. It has to look good with this amazing and really cool finish. Let's go over some of the features of this guitar. The body is made of all mahogany with this crazy finish. Let's talk a little bit about this finish. The entire guitar is first painted all black. Then it's coated in silver and then they remove bits of the silver paint exposing the black paint underneath. This means every single model looks different. No two guitars will look the same. It's not a sticker, it's real paint. The neck is also mahogany three piece with carbon fiber rods inside. The fretboard is made of ebony. The C-shaped neck is sent to the body with a 25.5 to 27 inch scale of length. This is what makes this a multi-scale. I'll try to explain what this means. For those of you that know about this, please bear with me. The scale length is the length of the string from the nut to the bridge. This is achieved by having the bridge and the nut at an angle and then angling or fanning the frets to keep proper intonation across the board. This way you could have a short slash regular scale on the higher strings which gradually increases to a longer slash baritone scale on the lowest strings. For example, this is a 25.5 inch to 27 inch guitar. Here are some advantages of a multi-scale guitar. Less string tension on higher strings so it's easier to bend. More string tension on lower strings so you could use a lower gauge string. Smoother sound on higher strings. Cleaner slash tighter sound on lower strings. It does take a little bit to get used to because all the frets appear crooked when you look down and you think you're in the wrong spot. After a short while of playing it, I think I like this better than a regular fretboard. That is just my personal opinion. Let's not forget about the neck joint. It's very well done and allows people with smaller hands like me easy access to the higher frets. There are two volume knobs and one tone knob, push-pull knob, with a three-way selector switch. This guitar comes with the Schecter USA Sonic Seducer Bridge and Neck Pickups. The bridge is a hip shot heart tail. The rest of the hardware is black and it comes with Schecter locking tuners. I would have to say that the overall quality of this guitar is excellent and everything feels just right. I would also say that it's lighter than the Hellraiser models in case you are wondering. I will now demonstrate the sound of the neck and bridge pickups using a clean tone and overdrive tones. I'm still learning my way around in 8 strings so only judge the tones and not my playing.
conclusion is that this is one amazing guitar and if you're on the fence about a multi-scale guitar, I say go for it. For more information, please visit your local Schecter dealer or visit www.schecterguitars.com. This is Anastasia B and this was my review on the Schecter C8 Multi-Scale Silver Mountain. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more upcoming reviews and guitar covers. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'd also like to tell you about the Schecter Guitar Forum on Facebook. It is the best group on Facebook for all Schecter things. It is pretty chill and everybody is very friendly. Check it out. Thanks for watching.